Hey, everybody. Happy Saturday, April 22. Yes, this term uh, went by quickly. No question about it. And it takes a lot of time management skills. In other words, allocation of that, the amount of energy you need cerebrally to be able to apply all that you've learned and all that you've read into a coherent and articulate presentation, discussion, or response. And I want to commend all of you for hanging in there and really demonstrating a tremendous amount of grit and perseverance during this term. That's what will drive it. And the passion, too. You have a lot of passion for the topic. I do think a lot of people do come into, and this is a uh, historic, and anyone involved in the public safety profession that's in this class will agree with me that there's a lot of mystique and mystery behind criminal justice. A lot of assumptions are made when people come into the program that this is about law, et cetera. There's reference to law. There is reference to the system, et cetera. But what we really wanted to do as the chief architect of the program with a wonderfully, wonderfully talented and diverse group of professionals that came together to work with our team develop a comprehensive program. The, th the theme they wanted, we all wanted to drive home, was excellence in communication. That is one of the biggest deficits we have, our ability to communicate, our ability to communicate well enough so we can become culturally competent. As problem solvers, you know, on average, the only 5% only of any law enforcement, public safety police officer's job during the day 5% is law enforcement related. The rest is what? Service, service calls. You know, whether it's helping somebody get the heat turned back on in their home, whether it is, you know, seeing a child go to school in the middle of winter with sandals and getting them some shoes, boots, or otherwise, or getting them breakfast because they had nothing more than orange soda and chips. Uh, you know, giving mouth to mouth to a, a child that may be suffering from SIDS. Um, you know, getting a, getting a, a child who needs a bicycle Getting them, a, getting them a new bicycle. A lot of these things you will never, ever, ever hear about. And most people, again, there's a mistake that all police officers do are, 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 are is crime focused. And that's just not true. That's not true at all. And so what our job is to is to be able to communicate with excellence in every single interaction that we have. And all those interactions in some form or another are going to get typed, i.e. written down. And they do not disappear. They live forever. You don't see that on TV. You don't see that in movies. You don't see an officer raising their right hand and getting eviscerated on the stand because the grammar and the spelling is is problematic. Okay? And as you saw in the first discussion board about APA, APA takes work. It takes practice. It can be a little scary here. But the more you read, and I've said this before, the more you read scholarly materials, that includes your textbook, okay? The more you read, the more time and energy you allocate to reading those things, articles that are in the Shapiro Library, et cetera, related to the assignments, the better the writer you'll become. I'm telling you from experience, and we have to be excellent communicators, and that includes writing. So I want to commend a lot, all of you. Many of you have made tremendous strides in a very short amount of time. I believe some of you did reach out to the great professionals at the Writing Center, and I commend you for doing that because it does take time to leave the course and go speak to someone and get their help. But is it worth it? 110 percent. I also want to let you know that, and I said it once, twice, three times, I will never, ever deceive you. And I can speak on behalf of the incredible criminal justice faculty that we have uh, who are extraordinary in their professional lives and extraordinary as teachers, mentors, and guides. And they will insist upon the same thing if you haven't already had or experienced or had a course with another uh, criminal justice instructor here at Southern New Hampshire University Global. So I just want to say thank you for the great work you've done this term. I am the retired dean of the program. However, I, still, I am still affiliated with the college, with the university, I should say, as a course developer and as an instructor and as a consultant and a liaison. So I'm more than happy to you know, be available for you after this course is over. If I can point you in the right direction, help you network or whatever, I'm happy to do that. You all have my phone number. It's in the bio. And you also have my email address. That hasn't changed. Okay, so happy to help. I just, again, just want to commend everyone for working so very, very hard. I also want to thank those students who um, volunteered or ex accepted my request to use their work as exemplars uh, and the tremendous work that those, peop those people did as well. So, again, grit, passion, perseverance, those things will carry you through, not just here, but everywhere. Uh, so anyway, other than that, have a wonderful weekend. I'll be grading. Again, one more thing, I cannot accept any more revisions at this point in time. It's just my back is against the wall to make sure grades get in and they're accurate 
and I'm able to provide enough robust and accurate feedback to you all. So in other words, if for nothing else, have a wonderful weekend and please be safe.